Hi guys, Super Homeworker here. Just want to share with you um, a couple of things that we're doing today. A lot of you, whenever you ask the same question over and over again, I make a video of it. So I wanted to make a video today about intros, about video intros. A lot of you want the information placed on a um, on a blank square within your video. You want your your web address, your contact information, your web link, whatever you want, your your channel name, whatever you want to place on it. So this is what's going to answer those questions. A lot of you are asking about that. So um, don't forget to use these icons at the top here. These are your friends. A lot of us overlook these icons because we're too busy focused down here and we forget about these. So make sure you utilize these options up here. Today we're going to use what's called insert blank option in VideoPad. Now, if you click on that square, black square, it's going to give you a default of black, okay? So let's go ahead and focus on a little more options. You click on your arrow over here, you'll see black, white, custom collar. Now, as you see, your Windows default collar scheme, and you pick and choose whichever one you want. Now, uh, I would like to have, let's see here, I'm going to use yellow today, okay? just for a good example today. Now if I wanted to lighten up the yellow or darken the yellow I can come over here and I can hit my slider arrow to make it lighter I can make it darker whichever the case may be. I want to keep it bright just for this example and a custom of course and hit OK. Alright now slider position beginning of timeline end of timeline now don't restrict yourself to those three options that's just what video pad pops up for you to choose from and you hit mine then would leave it at the end of timeline so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK it's at the end now we're going to edit it okay now we're going to go ahead and click on the clip that we're working on which is this one it's navy blue I know I have the right one and we're gonna go over here and hit effect now if you played around video pad at all you're familiar with this tab window so you got all these tabs to choose and pick and choose from. Today we are going to choose textile. Textile. Now, here are your options. Right here's your preview window. It's going to show you what your viewers are going to see as you work with it. So, let's get back to here your options. Now, font. Click on your font little button here and you have your main options of font. You have your font face, which is your font style, and as you change it, you see in this little window, it changes with you, so you can see exactly what it's going to be. Now, you can also use your font style over here, font uh, bold, bold italic, or your font size. I'm going to use 16. See how it went, got a little bit bigger on me? It's going to show you exactly what you're going to see as you change, make these changes, any of these changes. So you can come over here and hit strike out. You can come over here and hit underline. Now you can come over here and change your color of font. Now here are your choices. And I'm going to leave mine black today for the example against the yellow background. Okay. Now we can go over and hit OK. We're done with that. Now here are your options for aligning your text. Okay. You can choose to align left, center, or align right. Or you can choose align top middle or bottom. I'm going to choose a line right smack in the middle today just for this example. And come down here at this caption area here, enter your text here. Your cursor is going to be over the left. Of course that's not where your text is going to be so don't worry about that. Um, let's type in the super home worker. Okay. Alright, when you're looking for my channel guys, don't forget to put the word the at the beginning. A lot of you are putting super home worker. Don't forget the the. That's important. Okay, now, when you're done, you can see in your preview window how it's going to look. Now, say for an example, I typed in, is a great mm -hmm -hmm channel. And now, see here, it automatically drops it down to whatever it can fit on your clip. I didn't drop it down here, but it automatically did for me. But, if you want to, let's take this back back to the super home worker and you want to put something on the second line hit your enter button and it drops it down automatically and you see it adjust in your clip and put um, example one then if you want to hit it again hit enter example two okay and so forth and so forth okay so you can add on your information your contact information there now keep in mind these uh, items are not clickable so when you go to put your website in 
Just because you put HTTP doesn't mean it's going to be clickable like YouTube, okay? Just make sure you put the shortest amount uh, on there for you that's, you know, just utilize your space and your web address, okay? All right, now, we got that, so we know it looks like this now. Everything's lined up like it should be. You click OK, and it plops it right in. Now, what you have to do is just be a little patient with this whenever you do that. It um, it does take a little bit of time, just like if we had dial up before we had to wait. <laughs> Go ahead and let it finalize the changes you've made. See this green bar right here? Um, just let it go. It's trying to finalize and capture everything and every change that you made for this clip. Okay? So just be patient and let it run through. And when it does, you'll see your changes on here, of course. And again, utilize it and place it wherever you want to in your video. Don't restrict yourself to that that default window of timeline as far as you want it where the slider is or if you want it at the end, you want it at the beginning. You can go ahead and adjust where you want and I'm going to show you right now how to do that. As you can see your bar is completely green so it's done, it's finalized. If you want to make sure it's done correctly just hit your play button. It's going to play it through and you will see, there you go, the super home worker. Okay, it's done. Okay, now say for example you don't want it at the end, you really don't want it at the beginning or the middle or where the slider is, place it wherever you want. You click on it, keep your finger down on the mouse, and you drag wherever you want to place it and pop it up. Let go your your click and then there you go. It's placed wherever you want. So don't restrict yourself just where the slider is or anything like that. Just It's easier to do it that way if you need to put it somewhere in the middle of your video and not necessarily the end or the beginning. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much the video today, and I hope I have helped you out today. And if you want to thank me, just sub. I'd appreciate it. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, that's fine too. Just keep on coming back and watching because my channel is about helping others out, whether it's for affiliate marketing or video pad or how just how to create or promote your YouTube videos. Okay, so keep coming back. I love you all. I'll see you next time.